And now to a tragic story out of Orange County where a four-year-old boy with special needs wandered away from a local hotel and was hit and killed by a van. Troopers say it was dark outside when this happened and the driver just didn't see him. News 6's Mark Lehman has more on how this all unfolded. Out here, we're getting a better idea of how this tragic accident unfolded. You see this door here behind me. That's where troopers say the young boy was able to make his way out of the hotel. He then wandered through this construction zone, walking through about 100 feet of dirt and three lanes of traffic. By the time the driver saw him, investigators say it was too late. Very heartbreaking to see this little boy laying in the middle of the road, and the driver is extremely upset. The news unimaginable for any parent, but troopers say at first, the parents of four-year-old Key and Tomlin were nowhere to be found. Obviously, we started looking at the hotels that were on the west side of the road, and unfortunately, that's where the parents were located. Investigators following the boy's footprints in the dirt, leading them to the extended stay America. Inside, they found a door cracked open and the victim's parents asleep. Tragic. I'd be devastated. Chris Palmer also lives at the hotel and says he's spoken with the family several times. Something like this is definitely hurts, not just the family, but all of us here. An investigation revealing the young boy with special needs used a chair to unlatch the room's security lock in the middle of the night. After slipping out, he wandered directly into the path of this white van. Troopers say no one reported seeing the boy in the moments before he was killed. Something should have been noticed. Something definitely should have been noticed because that's that's a life that shouldn't have been lost. Troopers say at this point they're looking at surveillance video both outside and from the hallways inside this hotel. They tell us while they're not seeking any criminal charges, what led up to this terrible accident remains under investigation. For now, reporting in Orlando, Mark Lehman, News 6.